my name is Jack. This is my 1957 Chevy Bel Air. I bought this car in 1990 from a lady that lives in the city of Miami. It was a pretty poor shape, but I was able to drive it home. It sat for a couple of years, so I saved some money and I took it to a friend of mine's shop up in uh, Pompano Beach and we started working on it. I have an album with all the pictures of uh, the progression of the car. Um, it was pre pretty much a frame off restoration. Oh. The, the body came off, we did a bunch of panels. Uh, they painted it separately and then put it back together. The drivetrain, um, they did the frame. I brought in the motor, the transmission, the rear end. We put it all back together. And it's been done pretty much, uh, I think I finished it in December of 03. Uh, so it's going to be 21 years at the end of this year that it's done. And it was painted about two or three years prior to me taking it home in December of 03. So the paint's probably like 24 years old. It looks amazing. Yeah, it's garage kept, uh, air conditioned garage. Um, I drive it not every day, but it goes to a lot of car shows and I drive it around town and I'll take the kids to lunch in it and stuff like that. Places where I can park it and keep my eye on it. I don't really like to leave it alone anywhere. Uh, tell me a little bit about what, what engine does it have? Uh, when I bought the car, it didn't have the right motor in it. So I ended up buying a 350 LT1 motor for it, 1969. Uh, it was built by a friend of mine. Uh, with Vortex heads. It's got a Edelbrock carburetor on it. I mean, nothing high performance. I wanted more reliability than anything. Uh, that way I can, again, go out with the kids for lunch and not worry about overheating and breaking down and stuff like that. It looks very original. Uh, is it a little resto mod? Is it all original? What, looks what? wise, it's pretty much original. The only changes I made was, again, the drivetrain, the engine transmission and rear end. The body itself, the body panels, the windows, all original. And interior also, correct? Interior, all original, yeah. There are so, original covers that were put back on. How was the condition of your interior? Oh, it was trashed. Oh. <laughs> it was trashed. Oh, yeah? yeah so pretty. you had to redo the whole thing? Yeah, the whole thing came out. It was all um, primered and coated and put back together, and all the seats were primered and painted and put back together. I mean, done by a shop up in Fort Lauderdale. So why a Chevy Bel Air? One of my favorite cars. Ever since you were a kid or? No, after I got into cars, I started looking around. I was in the Corvettes. I actually got my 67 Corvette in 1988 and I still have it today. Nice. But uh, the 57, actually a friend of mine is the one that found it. He was gonna buy it. And then he went home and told his wife, and I said, no, you ain't buying no car. So he called me and said, listen, my wife's not gonna let me get it. If you want it, go get it. And I went right back to the lady's house, gave her a deposit and the car was mine by Friday. So is this your other baby? This is my 1967 Corvette that I bought in 1988 from actually a neighbor of mine. He had three Corvettes. This is the last one he sold. And I asked him, when you sell that one, let me know. His daughter came over one day and basically said, my dad's gonna sell the 67. So I rushed over there and the deal was made. This thing is gorgeous. Yeah, this one, this one was done in July of 2017. Um, I did the 57 Chevy first because it wasn't really like on the road. It was a car that, that needed to be restored. This one, I bought it in 1988, like I said, and I was driving it regularly. Not as an everyday car, but as a, you know, on the weekends and stuff like right. that. But um, And what was the condition of this car when you got it? This one was a running car, but it needed like paint and just a lot of cosmetics. Um. But it's done now. I mean, again, another same shop in Broward. Actually, they moved to uh, Melbourne, so we took the car up there and finished it there. Uh, but this one, again, is all original, 327, 350 horse, four-speed car, convertible, original color, original top, original black leather interior. Um, you can see that everything works on the car. Oh, this thing's gorgeous. But this one hardly goes out because it's just a a mission to get it out and stuff like that right but when i do take it out is, is i can only take one one kid with me like today my dog's going to work so if i was going to take it out i would take my son just you know just the two of us gotcha or vice versa so you got this in 1988 this one was bought in 1988 from my neighbor yeah wow it is absolutely gorgeous this one's all original small block Wow. 327. Yep. Again, not built to go fast, built to cruise. Nice. Just this a nice is, driver. This is beautiful. I love the garage setup too, man, with all the yep. cars. Oh, I've been collecting cars for 
20 plus years. Every time I go to car shows and swap meets, I buy cars, but I haven't bought lately because I have no more room. Now I'm buying signs and, and cans and stuff like that. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Started buying cans, whatever I could find. Oh, cool. Little stuff. So what got you into cars? I had a Trans Am in high school, and that one was built. We well, can't show this because it's a little x ray but oh. this is what my Trans Am turned into. That was a show car back in the day, back in the 80s. I think I finished that in 1985. Nice. And we used to go to World of Wheels and stuff oh, like that. Yeah. And back in the day, well, they don't have no more. Right. The World but of just, Wheels. Uh, it just went on from there. And my first car that I wanted to get, uh, my favorite car was my 67 Stingray. So again, when the neighbor was ready to sell it, I went and grabbed it. And then my uh, my next hunt was for the 57. And then when this guy found it, I said, oh, let's go get it. You should get it. And of course, his wife said no. So I ended up getting it. A couple years later, he got divorced and he bought a 55. No way. Yeah. And what do we have over here? This is a 2003 Z06, a 50th anniversary. Uh, one day I was doing a car show. And this guy drove into the car show. And I go, wow, that's a nice car. And he ended up putting a for sale sign on the window. And um, I spoke to him a little bit. He told me a little bit about the car, but he wasn't the owner. And then uh, when he left my show, he lit up a cigarette and peeled out down the street. And I go, wow, that's not really a nice way to treat the car. The next day, my friend called me. He goes, hey, the car you saw last night is in the auto trader, but it's a different phone number. I said, let me call that number. I called the number. It was the owner. I go, hey, how's it going? Good. You're selling the car. Yes, I am. I go, listen, you're not the guy I saw the other night at the car. She goes, no, no, I'm the owner. That's a friend of mine. He owns a used car lot. I gave it to him to consign. I go, let me tell you, I don't know you, but he was smoking your car and he lit the tires up going down the street. He got all pissed off and he went and got the car. I said, when you get the car, you want to sell it, call me. The next day on Tuesday, he called me. I got the car. I went to go see it. I told him, you want to sell the car? Yes, let's go do the deal. And I picked it up. It had 8,000 miles on it when I bought it. It was 2005. Wow. Two years old with 8,000 miles that I grabbed it. I haven't, it still looks the way it looks when I bought it. Now, is this your daily or nope. just? This is another car. Another that just, cruiser? Another sits that cruises on the weekend. Or again, when I have one kid to go out, I can take him out. It's locked on the side. No, um, no worries. Nice. It's just a nice car to drive. This is a fun car to drive. It's fast. Very fast. It's got a little bit of work done to it. Um, It'll run. <laughs> is the classic cars kind of something that makes you relax after a hard day work? Yeah, I mean, on the weekends, I go out in one of these and I just forget about work and stuff like that. Um, being a cop is fun too, but it's a different kind of fun. This is the 57 Chevy. Uh, again, I didn't have the original motor when I bought it. This is a 350 LT1 motor, Edelbrock intake, uh, Vortex heads, center bolt valve covers. I mean, AC, power steering, power brakes, everything works. Again, not to go fast, it's a nice cruiser. Nice. Automatic transmission, no more power guys, got the three speed automatic. Um, the rear end, I replaced with like a 80 or 79 uh, Camaro rear end, so it remains Chevy, but I think the Camaro rear end's about an inch longer. So if you notice, the wheels are right to the very edge of the fender. Yeah. Uh, those are 15 inch rally wheels, sevens in the front, eight in the back. Um, best combination I can find for the car. I don't like hubcaps. But at right. least at least I stayed Chevy. Show me uh, the interior. The oh, interior. I see, I, I see the. Is that the build sheet? This is the original window sticker that I got from the lady I bought it from. That's her. I bought. She bought it in 1957, and then I bought it in 1990. Uh, she runs out to me and says, "Sir, here. This goes with the car." She gave me an envelope full of the window sticker, the bill of sale, the GMAC financing card. She had everything saved from the car. Wow. Wow. The interior again is all original. Um, again, replaced, exception of the gauges on the bottom because uh, the other gauges don't really work. So I wasn't going to spend money trying to fix that, but everything is good. Got the under the dash AC, which you could have bought back in the day, mm -hmm. but this is called vintage air. It's made for these classic cars yeah. and it just bolts under the dashboard. It's got power steering on it. Have power steering from, from original, but the original power steering was bolted to the back of the generator with like the same shaft doing it, but I got rid of all that and put an alternator and, and put the power steering, the new the new style power steering with the 605 gearbox and all that stuff like that and been good ever since. Sounds amazing. What uh, exhaust do you have on this thing? It's just, uh, you know, the header straight back to the exhaust with a couple of Dynaflow um, mufflers on it. Nothing to be, I didn't want it too loud because right. you can't hear yourself thing, but it just, 
It sounds good. Yeah, it moves good. Yeah. This thing is awesome. Yeah, it rides nice and smooth too. Wow. Again, very easy to drive, automatic power steering. Oh, the power steering makes a big difference in this absolutely. car. Absolutely. So, I mean, I could turn it with one finger if I want. Right. It feels great. Yeah, driving down the road, it feels great. On the highway, it's the same thing. You don't, you don't feel nothing. Oh, this is super nice. Just to let you know, this is my first time in a 57 Chevy oh, Bel Air, man. man. So this is amazing to me. I love it. This is great. It yes. moves, man. I like it. No, it'll run. Yeah. I mean, it's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. You don't I need don't to run it. it. Yeah, but you have it there if you wanted to. Yeah, it'll move. How does it make you feel when you are driving this car around? No, I love it. I love it. People are driving by, giving me thumbs up. I don't go fast in the car. I drive slow. Um, people are always beeping and waving and all kind of stuff at me. It's a cruiser. Yeah, for sure. If you guys like this channel and you like this video, make sure to subscribe and send it to your friends. Jack, thanks again for giving us a ride in this great car. Oh, for sure. Anytime. Appreciate it.